Hello, my name is Mark Peikert. I'm the Global Product Specialist for Gore-Tex Outdoor Footwear. I'm uh, 16 and a half years with Gore. Um, I'm basically originally an engineer, and um, I'm responsible for the product performance of the Gore-Tex Footwear Outdoor products. Um, the basic idea of Gore-Tex Surround technology is to have shoes that are not only durable and all-around waterproof, but also breathable all around the foot. So um, we're trying to include also the area below the foot for breathability. And um, for outdoor, we have developed a specific execution um, that allows us at the same time to use, let's say, a normal sole with a normal tread with rubber and so on. So there's no vertical perforation of the outsole um, for uh, simple reasons that in outdoor you don't really want that. The um, basic principle of the surround technology that we use in outdoor is that um, there is um, a booty that covers the whole foot, so it's, it's covering the, uh, the, the foot to ensure waterproofness and also allows for breathability in all directions, so not only to the upper but also towards the sole. Um, since the sole, the outsole itself is not breathable, uh, we have introduced a material that is actually called a spacer. It's like a, another layer that we put below the booty, um, which creates something like a cavity. Uh, that allows the moisture to go in there, to go downwards, and then with, um, um, with an adapted upper, um, the moisture can move to the sides and can get out of the shoe. So we are using the underfoot area for breathability, which is, this is the new piece, um, and um, the um, evacuation or to, to re remove it from the shoe itself happens over the lateral sides of the shoe. Um, so far we are in the first season, so obviously the, the technology has not changed. We're just um, going into the market now. Um, shoes are at retail now. Um, but we already see that it's um, very well accepted. Um, we see a lot of momentum, a lot of excitement across the regions. Um, not only North America or Europe, but also in Korea and in Asia. In general, perception is very, very individual. Um, but one is, first of all, most important for us was we could objectively measure the difference and the improvement with the new technology. Um, and we hear many people saying that they tried the shoes um, and they really feel, feel the difference. Um, and of course, it's also for those people who really have that need for higher breathability. It's not really necessary for maybe some other people that are not looking for higher breathability. Um, but those, because of being heavy sweaters or being in warm conditions and sweating more, um, we really see that um, this is where people um, like the additional value. Um, we're focusing very much on what we call hiking. So it's the one or two day um, activity that you do with family, friends in the mountains. So it's not technical mountain climbing. It's not the wilderness camping where you have your tent with you. Um, it is really focused on the, the big, big um, market of what we call hiking. In German, it's Wandern. Um, um, maybe a, a one-day activity, half a day, or maybe two days with one overnight stay at a cabin, um, which is normally done at warmer weather because people like to hike in good weather. Um, still, you want the waterproof protection, especially when um, the, the grass is wet or the, bot uh, the, the ground is wet. Um, but people um, feel warm overall because of the sun is shining, for example, and they want more breathability in their shoes in addition to the waterproofness, and this is the target audience. I think that what we see from consumer research is that there is a big group of people who are happy with their shoes as they are today. Um, so maybe it's maybe women who say, I don't sweat so much, I don't really need the more, the more breathability. Maybe it's not so much for women, maybe it's more for men, maybe it's more for southern countries, more southern countries relative to northern countries. Um, and this is also why we don't see um, an old and or new Gore-Tex. So it's, it's an additional technology to actually answer an additional need that we see in the marketplace. Uh, I, I would say it's even more what I expected, to be honest. Um, I see that uh, there's a lot of momentum, a lot of excitement and, and um, energy because it's, it's something that um, the market was looking for. It is in an area which is a very important market for retailers. So this hiking market, it's a big volume area. Um, um, there is need, and also there is now something that is, uh, the technology is relatively easy to explain. It is, you need to explain, but people and consumers grab and understand very fast, and um, this makes it relatively easy to sell. That's what we hear, at least from retailers so far, and we have some first really exciting stories about the sell-through, uh, where retailers really sell the product really very, very well to the consumers. Well, I think it's the normal, the normal way that retailers help consumers is to try to understand what is your end use, what do you want to achieve, what's your objective with the product. Um, and based on that, if someone, I mean, if someone says, I want to go to glaciers, I want to cross glaciers in the Alps, uh, I would say it's not the right product. And it's not made for that, so it's not compatible, it's, it's not what you should look for. If you say, I want a shoe, I want to go hiking with my friends, with my family, um, I need breathability because I'm not happy with what is there, 
um, that's your new product. Um, or if you want to go for a vacation for southern countries, maybe in, uh, more south of Italy, um, and you say, I need a hiking shoe, a very, very versatile product, um, but with high breathability and waterproofness, um, this is the right product.